Hey everybody, Steven here, playing Red Dead Redemption 2 Online, and today they released the Legendary Bounty at a Doyle, and I'm assuming they did that today because tomorrow is the launch of Red Dead on PC. So, <clears throat> with this, um, I think they just don't want a bunch going on on Tuesday, like they usually do the release for this. So, um, with this one, uh, it's the first pass, so it's really rough. I always do horrible on the first pass. This one, you're definitely going to want a posse. I mean, you could do it solo like I did this time, but it's just really hard to do. And uh, I'll actually be recording these from tomorrow on on my PC, so I'm excited about that just because I won't have to record the audio in post, which will be really, really nice. Um, but this one, there's four different potential people because they kind of dress up the same as decoys. <clears throat> so if you have a posse of four, it's a lot easier because you each can pick one and track them down versus... What you're going to see me do here, which is run around and try and figure out which one is which. Um, you do have to hide in the beginning, and that's, in terms of picking a spot, it's kind of confusing with what the best spot is going to be on the first pass here. So I get spotted pretty quick, actually. Um, and then it just kind of delves into chaos from there. So I'm going to let the video play, and then I'll cut back in. All right. Etta Doyle. Used to be known as Madame Le Pearl. She runs a gang of other fallen women, sticking up trains and coaches mostly, but seems to have a particular fancy for robbing Leviticus Cornwall of late. So his men have set a honeypot to lure her in, tipped her off about a big stash of money and ammunition at Cornwall's freight yard in Saint Denis. Asked if I can send some good bounty hunters their way. Just be careful. They play smart. Uh, looks like she only sent one. Okay, we gotta move fast here. Come on. Now the bait's already been set. Etta Doyle and her girls will be here any minute. Mr. Cornwall, you don't want his name anywhere near this for reasons I'm sure you can understand. Just wants it dealt with quick and quiet. You're gonna wanna ensconce yourself in here. Now wait till they bust in, and then, when the moment's right, ambush Miss Doyle and escort her into custody. They want her alive. You get paid, we get rid of her, everyone's happy. Now don't worry about her cronies. She's the one with the price on her head. They're notorious for dressing alike. So you bide your time and you figure out which one's Doyle. You'll know for sure when you see her face. Got a big old scar down her right cheek. And we're just gonna hang around and stand guard, create some semblance of security, and just pray the crazy bitch don't bust in and shoot us straight in the face. All right, now, it's time. Find a place to hide, and we'll wait for the guest of honor. All right, so you're just supposed to hide in the freight station, and this, I'm believing this is all of it, but it's a big area to hide in. I, I was kind of confused. It's like, where should I hide? So I end up just going into the building over here and hiding up top. And uh, first I was thinking, like, do I need to hide in one of these? But this is a horrible hiding spot. Um, and then they show up and uh, you'll see on the map, there's four different like I said, potential um, people that could actually be Etta. So, you have to try and figure out which one that is. I'm assuming with a better hiding spot, you're actually going to be able to scope out and see, oh, that's the one with the scar. But, didn't do so hot on this first pass here. And, like I said, this is most likely going to be much easier when you have a posse. Um, so, things to think about. Got to have a good hiding spot, um, especially if you're doing it solo. But, if you have a posse, it's going to be a lot easier. Um, so I'm going to let this play out a little bit, and then I'll cut in on some areas that were just, like, super chaotic, and I was doing really, really bad. A um, couple moments in particular, and then uh, we'll finish out the video. Okay, girls, come on. Take a drive. Like a drive. Oh, I have to. Look, 
Alright, so this is the first one to chase down. Um, I was also worried that as they got further away, it was going to do that thing where it's like bounty escaped and then it would just reset the whole thing. Um, I do die right here too because I end up getting killed. Um, this isn't her, so first one says nice try, right? Uh, then a bunch of people pop out. I get the uh, shotgun out and just try trying to shoot them. And um, I try to use my health right here. And I click on it multiple times. It was doing this earlier in uh, just the open world where it wouldn't let me pull out my metal detector, which was kind of frustrating. Um, so I click on it multiple times um, and it just wouldn't let me use it. It will now, like <laughs> after the fact. But um, that was kind of frustrating. And then uh, coming up here, I'm not paying attention, I'm trying to shoot somebody and literally run my horse right into a pole. Um, which happens a lot for me actually. But uh, just another uh, moment, totally my fault, but it was just like frustrating because I was trying to shoot somebody and then I kill him and then boom, run right into something. Um, luckily the second person I tracked down ended up being uh, Etta, so I lucked out with that where I didn't have to go to every single one um, and then you're in town so you just take a right to the sheriff's office so it was actually pretty easy um, it was interesting to me too when I have a shotgun and I shoot somebody really close and they don't die it happens a couple times I know it's a scatter shot but still if I'm using a slug shot and it, it still doesn't get them so uh, this is where it's like alright I'm just gonna take care of this lady Boom! <laughs> it ran right into that pole. And then I got him. So I'll uh, cut back in when I get Etta, and then uh, we'll finish out the video here. Alright, so Ed is right here. Um, didn't put up much of a fight. I was actually surprised. But I was also like... It was interesting because it didn't highlight her. Because usually you'll see the main bounty highlighted in red when you do your dead eye. And, uh, or, your, or your tracking and it didn't do it. But luckily I, I got it right now versus having to track on down the other two. Um, and they didn't send anybody after me while I was in town. I, I figured I'd be hit up with a ton of different kind of goons to stop me but uh, that didn't happen um, I'm also curious to see with the higher difficulties if that means that they go further and further outside of town um, and it just means you have to track them down so uh, they didn't put a time limit on this so I don't know if that's something that they would do with a higher difficulty either but like I said if you got three other posse members or heck, just one other posse member. This probably plays a lot easier. So uh, we just take her into town. Nobody tries to stop us. Um, it's pretty straightforward here. Uh, the other thing I noticed is I use HDR on the TV, so I have this on 4K on my TV, and then it transfers okay when I run this through Premiere Pro. But um, the way I have it set up, I do want it darker. But when it's these nighttime missions on my TV, it's just hard to see. Um, so it prevents or, or presents that extra layer of challenge with all of that. So I'm hoping on the PC I can kind of tweak that a little bit more so I can get a better balance between the whites and the darks. Um, overall, I like the look, but when it's dark, dark um, and I have HDR, I'm not going to continually mess with that um, because then it affects the daytime cycle look. And 
I would just constantly have to tweak that. So basically I have the best setting that I've found so far for that, but I'm ready to switch over to PC. All right, so with that, we got $60, 0.16 gold bars, 400 regular XP, and then 500 bounty XP. So pretty good, especially for that first try. Um, not bad at all. So with those higher difficulty levels, you get more and more XP, obviously, also. So and more money and more gold. So that is it. Like I said, tomorrow Red Dead comes out on PC. I will do videos of that for sure. I'm super stoked about that. Um, I'm ready to record all this. Also, not in post where I can do it while I'm just playing as well. And the whole process is just going to be easier. And I'm really, really excited just to see how good it looks on PC. Especially with my monitor because it's a 34-inch ultra-wide 1440p 100Hz monitor. So i um, ready to take advantage of that. But that is it, everybody. If you like the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all of my content, hit the subscribe button for me. Thanks so much for watching.